Hey guys, <laughs> I should straighten myself out here a little bit. Um, I wanted to come in here and tell you that what, what's been going on in my life. I feel like I've been disconnected from you guys. I used to make a lot of really honest content, honest about what I was going through and like real, real. And I feel like I feel like though I'm I'm happy with the stuff I'm putting out, I've lost that element to what I'm making. And I guess this is a perfect opportunity for me to be honest with you guys about what's been going on. I'm just, I'm kind of burnt out and I'm kind of getting to the other side of it now. And I, I didn't make this video last week because I wanted to, I wanted to be true to stepping away. And for those of you who follows me, follow me on other social media platforms, you know that I kind of put out a little bit of a statement saying that I kind of felt like I was losing myself, that I was like so caught up in busyness that it just, it just muddles everything. And for me, this is my like life's passion. Like you guys got to understand that like <laughs> this is like, the, this consumes so much of my thoughts throughout the day and and just uh, it's never off for me it's always like go 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 next thing next thing and because of that I find so much identity in it and I know I know we always say look and I say too don't find your identity or your self-worth in these things because that's found in Christ and who Christ says you are and I'm like yes I'm with you and yet I don't know how to do that and so so, so often when I'm caught up in busyness, that's when it gets worse. When I'm making so much content and, and over the last, last like six months, I've been putting out so much more content than I ever have before. And I'm so excited about it. And there was so much growth and it was so wonderful to see something that I've been working on for so long, finally, quote unquote, work. But that's the issue, isn't it? It's that that idea of something finally working is a misguided standard anyway. This idea that it was only worth it or it was only meaningful when it finally I finally got the views that I wanted or it finally got to reach enough people. That was misguided in itself. But that's kind of when my disordered thinking kicks in, when I'm when I'm so distracted, when my eyes aren't on the mission, aren't on Jesus, they sway to comparison. They sway to making sure that that it works <laughs> and that I'm not a failure and that I'm not a loser and 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 then it finally does work and you get so excited and I got so excited about look look what happened look what God did this is so amazing and then the fear kicks in what what happens if it all fades away and all those anxieties and insecurities that were maybe they're really pr present with me. And those of you who followed me for a long time, I've verbalized these things for a long time. And all of a sudden, those things are kind of covered up temporarily by this, by this, this success, by this, the, the, this working of what you, you wanted to happen. And, and now you're not so worried about those things anymore. And now you're just working really hard because it's, it, it's working and, and, it, and your dreams are coming true. And yet, and yet, you know, underneath the surface, you know, underneath the surface that it's not real, that there's a big part of you that's just ready to collapse the second it falls away because, because you find yourself in it instead of in where, where you should be looking towards what you should be doing is, is towards Christ. And, and I don't want to give off this idea that oh man, I think all my content is just about getting views or anything. Like, I don't believe that for a second. But I'm saying in the, I want to give you guys the inner workings of what's going on in my, in my mind, in my heart, because maybe you're experiencing something like it. I feel so much of myself <laughs> just falling apart. Even at the, the, the smallest the smallest breaking of what has been built. <laughs> Let me explain, I guess. If that doesn't make any sense. I I have a real hard time looking at YouTube analytics. They they give me a lot of anxiety. And even as 
things have grown. There have been months where I was really excited to see the growth and, and the, oh my, my goodness, it's, it's finally happening. And, and so many people are watching, so many people are hearing the gospel. And, and, and then as time goes on, maybe you get less views than you did, or maybe you're not getting as many more multiplications as, you know, all of a sudden it doubles the m- month and then it doubles again. And then the next month, it's kind of the same. And then you, you fear maybe it's all falling apart. And so I, I don't like to go to that space and I don't like to look at my patrons, like the, my Patreon app. It gives me a lot of anxiety because I feel like it, it testifies to me what I'm worth and how I'm doing and my future and God's approval of me and God's love for me and my, whether I'm a failure or a success. <laughs> and I don't want to feel this way. And I'm not saying I feel this way all the time. I, I don't, thankfully, like I'm thankful for that. <sighs> but I've been feeling more of that way recently. And that's kind of when it come to a, came to a head. Where I was like, I need to, I need to stop this, not stop the mission. I know I'm called to this, but take a step back for as long as it takes for me to reorient my focus back on to where my identity truly is. It's not in my work. It's not in my productivity it, and my life can't revolve around me continually striving to ease the guilt that says I need to do more, that what I've done isn't enough, that I will never be enough. (sighs) Because in, in reality, nothing I could ever produce will be enough to save me, will be enough to make me whole, to be enough to ease that, that shame or that guilt lingering in the back of my head. It's only Christ. I, I don't make this video because I want you guys, you know, I'm trying to get all the advice that I can and, and, and you know, because I want you guys to try to fix me or anything like that. Like, I got plenty of people in my life that I'm, I'm working through this with. I, I share this with you to ask for your prayers and to let you know to let you know that, (laughs) that you're that thing that you're looking towards that goal, that dream that you're like, once I, once I reach this, or once I hit that, then I'll be happy. Then I'll be satisfied. Then I'll be whole. It's a lie. And anytime our, our focus shifts off of Christ and the mission onto the metrics, we're going to be always disappointed. We're always going to be left broken because when we're building our kingdom, I, uh, my pastor talked about this this week and it really, it really hit me when we're focused on building our kingdom. We're also perpetually anxious about it falling apart. But when we build Christ's kingdom, we can have the assurance that his kingdom will never fall apart. So, Where does that leave me? That leaves me with the desire to create, not out of anxiety, fear, a a sense of trying to gain worth or, or identity from this, but rather out of the love and acceptance and joy that I have already received through Christ, seeking to build his kingdom and not my own, because his kingdom will never fail. His kingdom will never fade. So even when I feel like all the stuff that I've put my life's work into begins to fade away or isn't growing as fast as I would like, it doesn't, it doesn't need to, it doesn't need to keep going. That thing doesn't have to quote unquote work because this is where God has placed me. And as long as I'm seeking his kingdom, that's enough. I feel like 
I feel like I so often enter this cycle of like this endless guilt and shame and needing to work and be productive and doing as much as I can and then being burnt out and then letting that take over again. And I don't want to enter that cycle again. I want to do this for the long term. I have, I'm so excited for 2022 and, and just beginning to plan out what that's going to look like because of your guys' support and because of the, the, where the channel has gone and just everything behind it. It's just so amazing and so exciting, but I do not, I do not want to continue on my own terms. <laughs> I've experienced once again, coming to the end of what I can offer, feeling the stress of needing to come up with more ideas than I can think of, the stress of needing to make more content than I can do on my own, the, the stress and the anxiety of not having enough time to do everything that I feel like I should do, the guilt and the shame of not feeling like I'm measuring up to where I should be. I've experienced all of that, but it was all a means to get me to look back at Christ and say, God, I want to do this with you. Once again, <laughs> I've, I've, I've let the busyness consume me. I let the, I let the content consume me and I want to look back at you and say, God, let's, let's go. Let's walk. Let's walk together. So often we think of God as like a destination. Like when I work, work hard enough and, and, and do well enough, then I, then I reach God. But the truth is, is that he's walking with us, that his power and presence is there with us when we ask, when we humble ourselves. And so that's where I'm at. <laughs> well, why I'm crying. Um, yeah, I'm going to be making, <laughs> I'm going to be, I'm going to be, what am I going to be doing? You'll see videos coming out. A, a lot of videos still. Daily videos because I have a lot of stockpiled videos. <sighs> but just know behind the scenes that I'm working stuff, some stuff out. That I'm so thankful for each one of you who decides to support me in any way. Whether that's wa watching videos or you know, being a supporter on Patreon or any of those things. Like I said, I'm so excited for 2022 and I just want to get in the right headspace to do that. I'm still going to make some videos, uh, this year and, um, and, uh, you know, I'm going to do that with more rest and, and thought, not necessarily thoughtfulness. Cause I, I, I do think I put a lot of thoughtfulness in every piece of content that I create, but it's like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know exactly, but I'm going to be more intentional about taking that space and that time um, to make sure I do this in a healthy and sustainable way. And so, like I said, you'll still see more content from me, um, that, you know, and, and I'm, you know, I wouldn't be releasing it if I didn't think it was going to be fun and good and entertaining and interesting. I, I'm really proud of the content that that's going to be coming out. Um, but this was just an opportunity for me to open up to you guys about some of the things that I'm doing, that this is not easy, that I do not have this together. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm so thankful for each one of you. And and I want to be more relaxed with, with on the channel sometimes. And so if you're in favor, I think I'm going to be popping in like this from time to time. Um, yeah, appreciate your prayers. Appreciate your comments. I'm not going to be responding to too many in the comments just because... Too many, uh, you know, comments. Um, just because, I, I part of my thing is is stepping away and and taking some time and and for my own sanity. So, um, when the time comes, I'll I'll, I'll read them. And I appreciate you guys so much. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless.